Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a little travel vlog. We're going to Little India with my friends and I thought it would be fun to show you around. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so I am at Little India Station and I'm just waiting for my friends to um, come. And yeah, I'm really excited to just visit Little India. My friend loves going there and I just love Indian food. So I'm really excited to just see stuff and yeah, I can't wait to show you around. Bye guys. This is Singapore by the way. It's where I'm from, where I'm living. And Little India is basically near, I guess, Rocher, Bugis area. And you just have these little pockets of Indian restaurants and Indian shops and everything. And it's just really fun to kind of explore. This is Delhi restaurant. It's our first stop. And we decided to first have lunch. I am a huge fan of Indian food. I love it so, so, so much. Like chicken tikka, butter, chicken, and that kind of thing. And we started off with like some papadams. And I don't know, I think this is like a parsley mint sauce but it was really really good and that was just kind of for starters and then came the mango lassi mango lassi is just kind of like this yogurt drink that really balances the spiciness of the food and this is like a lamb dish i think like lamb i don't know if it's kofta but it's like a lamb dish and this is of course the very famous chicken tikka and they're quite spicy actually full of flavor this is amazing and very very tender as you can see, the chicken looks like that. And of course, we ordered butter chicken, one of my favorite dishes of all time. It's like this delicious tomato kind of base chicken, curry kind of like flavor. It's very, very, very mild, but still like really flavorful. And of course, this is lamb biryani. Biryani is like a mixture of like spicy rice mixed with meat. And yeah, that was lunch for us. I wish I could put you two on camera, but Darlene can be on camera. <laughs> if you do visit Little India, you have to go to the biggest kind of, I guess, mall or store in Little India. It's called Mustafa. You can actually find every single thing that you've always wanted to find here. They have electronics to beauty products. This is henna or like hair dyes that are all natural. My friend really likes all natural products, so she likes to get a lot of the stuff um, from here and she has a few recommendations so that's gonna be fun to tell you and she's leading us to this place where she always gets like these like face masks and these are like grounded up um, either doll or turmeric and spices that you put on your face after mixing it with like water or honey so um, she likes to use these and she actually just mixes them with water or honey and I have never seen them before I don't know what the brand is or anything like that um, but she decided that you know she was going to tell us what they are and this is turmeric which is like really uh, quite a good apparently quite a good like disinfectant for your face especially of like acne and bacteria this one is like a the other one was like a grom doll um, it is basically like kind of an exfoliant and I actually bought two of them I bought the turmeric one because uh, my friend really really kind of really loves that one and then I also bought the Graham doll one and she hasn't tried that one but then I decided to try it with her so it was quite exciting so here we go I'm at home now and I thought I would just kind of add this as a snippet so here I am preparing the powder so you, this is like a I guess it's kind of the closest is a chickpeas there we go like a chickpea flour and it has like aloe vera powder too but that's all it has and I just added a bit of water and I'm stirring it into a paste as you can see so it's quite thick actually and then I'm also preparing this one which is the turmeric and you cannot use the turmeric powder with water because it's gonna stain your face yellow and I've actually looked online and everything and people say it does wonder wonders for acne so I'm just like mixing it with the honey as you can tell and when I was doing this video I actually tried it for around three to four times already and I kind of did notice a slight difference in my skin. I felt like my pimples weren't as like red and angry anymore. So here I am putting first the doll or chickpea mask, I'm going to call it chickpeas, um, and I'm putting it on my face. As you can tell, it's quite a thick mixture. The reason why I don't put the turmeric mask straight on is because I'm just scared it's going to turn me yellow actually. So I actually put the chickpeas on first and then I put the turmeric on top onto my trouble spots. So my trouble spots are my T-zone and around my mouth area where most of my, I guess, pimples live. <laughs> so I'm just, this is what it looks like. And then when it is dry, like after you leave it for probably like five minutes, 
it turns dry and then you kind of just rinse off everything and your face feels really clean. Okay, we're in the perfume section and Rinku says that. What did you say? Oh my gosh, you're not going to be in it. You just say something. Okay, uh, they're cheaper than normal. So. <laughs> everywhere on Orchard. From everywhere on Orchard. You guys, we're at the hair section. Oh, it's not really the hair section. It's more like dye your hair section. But henna is great for your hair because it's natural. It won't damage it. And it conditions. It has like all these natural ingredients that really um, benefit your hair. So I recommend it. I've tried it. There's so many brands to choose from. Uh, don't use these because they have like PPT or I forget. It's like some kind of chemical which actually dyes your hair. Get the organic one or like the so natural. So this is the organic one. Yeah. Black May is an Indian brand. Is this an Indian brand? Oh uh, no, this is not an Indian. Where is Black May? Sorry. Yeah, their eyeliners are really good. Their pencil um, eyeliner? Yeah, but if you can, you can, if you go to India, this is like twenty bucks. You can oh, buy this it is for twenty. Like Two dollars. Oh. <laughs> She's not gonna go to India. Huh? That's true. Oh wait, yeah, I do know what they are. Um, what do you do? You like fry them, uh -huh. and they taste like the. It's called copper, and it tastes like the stuff you had for appetizers at that restaurant, like the French. Oh, like a. This is really good. I've tried that. Oh, you want Indian snacks, right? Come over here. Okay, so they have like samosas. You can, these snacks are really good. Um, it depends. Some of them can be spicy, some of them can be sweet. Yeah. That's like a very well known brand. Is this, what's your favorite one? Oh, this one's really good. That's delicious. I like literally ate the entire half. What is it? So after we did our shopping, we decided to grab dessert. And Indian desserts happen to be extremely sweet. And this is our first one. It's called Gulab Jamun, which is kind of like a milk powder dumpling that's soaked in a sugary, spicy syrup. And it was actually really good. And then we hop to another place to look at the jalebi. I think it's pronounced jalebi, but basically what it is, is just these kind of swirled up, deep fried, I don't know, kind of like donut crispy orange things. It's really hard to explain actually. Ooh, it's so sticky. Yeah, it's really sticky. You need to wash your hands. I have wet wipes. You guys can just use Easy? it. Easy? I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, pull it out. My hands are pretty clean. Okay. <laughs> That's what they all say. No, it is pretty clean. Is that saffron on it? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, it's not like something. No, 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 I know. But saffron's like clean. Uh, no, I'm not gonna eat it like that. I'll touch it. Here, I'll break it apart. Look at that. Look at the inside. Can you see the inside? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's like. I yeah. think you'll, get, you'll like this the best out of all three of them. Okay, Darlene. Just, I don't know, play with this <laughs> food. Oh, okay. The last dessert that we tried is called Ras Malai, which is like a cottage cheese so dumpling, like dumpling soaked it in well? milk. It's a very, very milky dessert, and it's actually quite delicious. So that's what we did in Little India. I really hope you like this follow me around video. I enjoy doing them so much, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!